All right, so now let's talk about how does this work? Because you're gonna all be doing an exercise here and we're gonna be, be working through this. So how does this actually work? How do you use the Agile Coaching Growth Wheel to create a career journey? What I wanna show you is I wanna show you what I, I, I teach people in my Certified Scrum Master class. So these people, they're just starting, where are they going? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer my opinion on the go-to stance for a Scrum Master. So the first thing is I tell them is look, Scrum, one of the values of Scrum is focus. As a Scrum Master, focus. Don't worry about the whole world of Agile right now. Just take that, 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 that the mastery and just focus on Scrum. Go read the new new product development game. Go read the Scrum, Scrum papers. Go, go listen to a podcast um, from several of, of, of the leaders. Understand Scrum itself. Don't worry about Kanban, don't worry about scaling. Learn Scrum really, really well first. A lot of times I like to tell Scrum Masters, look, you are the product owner of Scrum. You're there to help the team be, be successful. You need to understand what the acceptance criteria are around successful Scrum. So that's the first thing is. And then let's take a look, okay, great. To be a good, a good Scrum Master, where do I think you need to go? So great. As a starting Scrum Master, really focus on getting to practitioner level. Now that's no small feat. Practitioner level, I would say probably 80 to 90% of the Agile community is gonna be just fine if they can get to practitioner level in um, two or three of the stances and two of the masteries. Don't feel like you've gotta be a guy. Don't feel like you've gotta be a catalyst. By the way, there's only one catalyst in this room. It's right over there. Mike, can you raise your hand? So, Mike, how long have you been a certified scrum trainer? 2005, okay. Anybody here ever seen the chicken and the pig cartoons about Agile? You can get his autograph later. <laughs> and I'm going to be running out that door afterwards so that he doesn't hurt me. Um, he, I consider Mike a catalyst. I don't even consider myself a catalyst. So, practitioner, you're going to really, really get that's the, you got to go beyond, you got to be, learn it and then be putting it into practice. Mindset, right now, because you're so focused on Scrum, while I, off, I usually consider that the mindset should be at least equal to the practice, because you're very, very focused on Scrum right now and you really gotta get those mechanics down well, as long as you understand the core why of, 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 of Scrum, you don't need to get your mindset up too much higher as a starting Scrum Master. Okay, great, so now what about my stances? Facilitation. I'm super passionate on this. If you are a starting Scrum Master, don't flippin' worry about being a coach. Facilitation is your first go-to because your job is to create effectiveness in the team. And that is what facilitation is about, to free from difficulty. So that is a go-to, is try and focus on your facilitation skills with a side order of training. If you don't know how to help people understand um, and learn a new concept, you need a little bit of training. How do adult learners learn? How to create an experiential mini learning environment? You don't need to be able to put together a, a, a two day course, but you should be able to teach a simple concept in 15 or 20 minutes to your team. In a way they go, oh, I get it. 